Imagine being the owner of a Minecraft server, but not your typical factions, skyblock, townie, hub, minigame server with nitpicky rules, pay to win ranks, and abusive admins. No. Imagine being the owner of a Minecraft server where there isn't an admin to roll back your grief. A server where mostly everyone is hacking. A server with absolutely no rules, meaning you can't ban anyone under any circumstances. This is my Minecraft Anarchy server, also known as the youngest Anarchy server in Minecraft. Since I released my last video talking about how I decided to start my own Minecraft Anarchy server, people left and right have flocked to it to see what it's all about. As of writing this script, over 16,000 unique players have logged onto the server, and the player cap of 127 has more or less been reached 24-7. But with the great number of players comes huge problems. The first apparent problem we had with the server was the lag. More specifically, the TPS, or ticks per second. A Minecraft server is supposed to consistently run at 20 TPS, which means that there should not be any lag. But when that number goes below 20, certain gameplay aspects start to become more and more laggy, to the point where the entire game becomes unplayable. In my experience, 20 to 15 TPS is usually pretty playable, with the occasional block lag and rubber banding. 14 to 10 TPS is not ideal. You'll get lots of laggy server behavior and new chunks may start to load a lot slower. 9 to 6 TPS is when things start getting real ugly. Common tasks like eating or punching a tree start to take much longer to do. Also, the block lag and new chunk generation becomes extremely slow, almost to the point of becoming unplayable. Now 5 to 1 TPS is pretty much unplayable. If you've ever tried eating a pork chop at 2 TPS, you'll know what I mean. Now that we know what TPS means, what actually causes low TPS? Well, a lot of things can cause a Minecraft server to slow down, but there are two major reasons why a Minecraft server's TPS can become very low. That's terrain generation and mojang. Let me explain. If we look at 2b2t, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, there, I said it. The owner of 2b2t, Housemaster, constantly implements patches to disable fast player movement hacks like entity speed or elytra fly. Why? Well, new terrain generation is one of the most lag-intensive things in Minecraft. Just a few players at once loading new chunks can cause a server to fall to its knees. But why? We have super powerful 16 thread, 32 thread, 64 thread processors that perform faster than we've ever seen before. And that's where we unfortunately have to blame Mojang. If you purchase one of those insane 64 threaded CPUs and try to run a Minecraft server on it, it would run the same as your typical i7 processor in your gaming rig. Kiss the rest of your 63 threads goodbye, because for the most part, Minecraft could only take advantage of one CPU thread. Yes, I do know Minecraft can kind of take advantage of multiple threads in specific situations, but not in a very efficient way to cause that much of a performance boost. In that case, the raw gigahertz of a single thread is crucial for the performance of a Minecraft server. When I originally opened my server, I immediately saw how terrible the TPS was due to the low clock speed of the cores, so I quickly sought other options for a server host. Luckily, I found a host that was a perfect fit for our needs, Pebblehost, and I want to give a huge thanks to them as they provided us with a 4.9 gigahertz boost clock Intel Xeon CPU on a virtual machine that was perfect for running our server. Oh, and if you want a server of your own, an affiliate link to the site will be in the description of this video. And thanks again so much to Pebblehost for being the sponsor of today's video, because without them, the server would be a laggy mess. Now that we had the TPS under control, our team can now focus on other issues the server had like, oh no, please no, not the Q plugin. I swear to God, our Q plugin keeps giving us issues left and right. But don't get me wrong, the Q did work, but with huge flaws. The first apparent issue our Q plugin had was that it would not update the counter if a player disconnected from the Q server without entering the main server. This created so-called air bubbles in the Q player count that sometimes made it look like almost double the amount of players were in the Q at a time, when in reality, they were ghost players. All right, no problem. We'll just contact the developer and we'll get this fixed right away. And that's what we did. But we kept getting excuses after excuses, saying that he was busy or that he couldn't recreate the problem. This went on for literally over a week. And keep in mind, 
We paid money for the support for this Q plugin. It eventually got so bad that Cortex, one of the Java programming masterminds who is currently helping us with the pack.png project, offered to help by fixing what the plugin creator couldn't. I also want to give a huge thanks to this guy who was also a huge help with fixing this plugin. Now there are so many other issues with this Q plugin, like the permissions for staff priority, which doesn't even work at all. But I don't want to make this video all about this nightmare of a Q plugin, so let's move on. The server had a lot of other issues, like for a brief period, if you tried to place a sign, it would kick you from the server. Why? Well it turns out that our anti-cheat plugin was freaking out for some reason over some sign placements. But that was quickly patched. And I certainly can't finish this video without mentioning the most apparent problem yet. Bots. It has certainly been an everyday battle with these things. They clog up the queue and are just a nuisance. We've tried adding a CAPTCHA, but it was easily bypassed. However, we're going to keep trying to stop them with a few ideas we have up our sleeves. At this point, I think I'm really feeling the way Housemaster does when it comes to running an Anarchy server. You want to ban players so badly, but you just can't. It wouldn't be true Anarchy. That's all I have for today, guys. I'll be back.